You watch every single college degree video and read all of the career websites on the internet. Your TikTok page is full of people talking about their careers, college degrees, and their experiences at university. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean jack shit. Unless you unshackle yourself and you realize the reality of the situation, everything you do is futile. It's all pointless. Because you may take one step forward, but then you just take two steps back. Unless, of course, you avoid getting the types of college degrees that I'm going to reveal in this video. Because unfortunately, if you get these degrees, you can wave goodbye to your chances of having a successful, high paying, and fulfilling career because success is all about offense and defense. And most people just pay attention to offense. I mean, just look at the best performers in the world, like Floyd Mayweather, who became the highest paid boxer of all time by mastering the art of defense. Or Magnus Carlsen, who is probably the greatest chess player of all time, who got that way by almost never losing, even if it means he has to draw a lot of games. So by not falling into the common traps that most people fall into, like getting a useless degree, your defense gets stronger and it makes everything else in your life better. And actually, I found in life that avoiding doing negative things is actually more powerful in many cases than doing positive things. So for instance, I used to drink a lot when I was in college. And at the same time, I was trying to make money on the side. I was trying to get a good job and I failed over and over again. And what I realized is when I drank on the weekends, first of all, I didn't get anything done during that time. And then the first few days of the week, I would spend recovering from my drinking session. I would basically have brain fog and my brain just wouldn't work and I wouldn't have any motivation. And then finally, after feeling sluggish most of the week, I would feel okay around Friday, and then I'd just do the entire cycle again. And when I stopped doing these degenerate activities like drinking all the time, that's when I finally started having success. So my defense actually helped my offense. And that is why I came up with this list of eight college degrees that you need to avoid. And not only am I gonna tell you about specific college degrees, but I'm also gonna tell you why you need to avoid these degrees so that you can recognize them in other ones that you might be considering. Because let's be honest, school Schools are creating these degrees way faster than I can cover them on this channel. And so it's much better for me to actually show you how you can recognize what the bad degrees are yourself. And the first one on this list is going to be a science related degree that's one of the most popular degrees. It's actually one of the top five most common degrees that people get. Over 100,000 people graduate with this degree every single year. And a lot of people think that science degrees are always good, right? Because they're STEM degrees. But the truth is a lot of science degrees aren't that great. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And the truth is the science part of that is the weakest by far. And think about it. It makes complete sense because universities these days seem to be really confused about basic biology. This is stuff that we've known for like a hundred years that males have XY chromosomes and females have XX chromosomes. And yet universities are consistently letting males compete in female sports. And so as somebody who loves science, it's really sad, but science and universities have been hijacked by woke propaganda. And I remember when I was an undergrad, we were talking about biology, which by the way, that's the degree biology. And the teacher started saying that if science and her ideology clash, AKA objective reality, objective science clashes with something that she thinks Thinks, then objective science is wrong. Right, so this teacher literally said that if her political ideas were different than objective science, then she rejects it. This is a professor teaching people this. And I could not believe it when I heard this. I was like, am I seriously paying all this money to have a teacher lecture me about her politics? But that is exactly what is happening in universities right now. And biology is an example of a degree that is way too saturated. Like there are basically zero jobs at the bachelor's level. You have to get at least a master's or a doctorate in order to even have a chance of landing a job in biology. And I think one of the main mistakes people make that fall into this one is they say, oh, you know, my plan is to go to medical school or go to pharmacy school or become a PA or a nurse practitioner. And so the undergraduate degree I get doesn't really matter. And so they end up getting a biology degree because they think it's gonna be a great prerequisite for medical school. But actually in reality, when medical schools are evaluating candidates, there's so many biology majors that are applying that you're less likely to get in because of quotas. So you're more likely to get into medical school if you get more of a rare degree rather than one that's saturated like biology. And I always tell people to secure the bag with your undergraduate degree, even if you're planning on going to grad school. Because the truth is, even if you have a good plan, your plan might change. And a lot of the time you'll think that you're going to go to grad school, but you end up not going. And then you're going to end up with a useless undergraduate degree if you're not careful. And by the way, the reason I know so much about this stuff is one, I got a doctorate myself. So I've went all the way through the university system. And then I have also autistically studied this stuff for the last 
last like five to 10 years. And on top of that, I have now helped thousands of people land their dream jobs. And a lot of the advice that you hear on the internet or from the media or from your teachers, unfortunately, is not very good. And so I made this channel because it's the channel that I wish I had when I was younger. And so if you appreciate me warning you about degrees like this so that you don't fall into the trap, go ahead, drop a like in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm so that more people can find out as well. Now, the second type of degrees I'm going to talk about are ones that are way too general. College is extremely expensive. And if you are going to spend all of that money to go to college, you want to make sure that you are a specialist. That is the only reason for you to go to college is for you to specialize in something. And if the degree you get is going to teach you a little bit about a lot of different things, then that means you are a generalist. And if you want to be a generalist, that's totally fine. But you can learn that stuff for very cheap or free on the internet. Of course, there's Google, YouTube, Khan Academy. There's really cheap resources like Skillshare or Udemy. And and the best universities in the world, like MIT, offer their classes completely free online. So for instance, MIT OpenCourseWare is a great example where you can take classes from the best professors in the world. And in many cases, you have the same recorded lectures, you have the same books, you have access to the same questions, and in some cases, you even have access to the test questions that they give people. So there is absolutely no excuse in 2023 to spend a bunch of money on a degree that's going to turn you into a generalist. And this particular degree I'm going to use as an example is a communications degree. Now, don't get me wrong. Communication is an incredibly important skill, but there are so many different types of communication. Obviously, making YouTube videos is one type of communication. There's the written word, there's podcasts, there's giving speeches, and all of these types of communication are going to be different. Now, the next category on the list is going to be the exact opposite, which is degrees that are too specific. Now, I put this at the beginning of the video for a reason, because I don't want you to get confused when I say to not be a general. When I say you should be a specialist, that does not mean you should specialize too much, right? So people who are watching my videos might make a mistake. So you need to pay attention because your future, your job, your ability to get a girlfriend all depend on you understanding this, right? Most things in life are not black and white. There are gray areas and it requires a little bit of finesse. And this particular degree I'm going to be talking about that is too specialized is a printer technology degree. So this is an example of something where there was a brief time where it was probably a good idea to get a printer technology degree because there was so much opportunity. But then they kind of maxed out what you could do with it. And now there's pretty much no opportunities for people who get printer technology degrees. And this is not necessarily a skill set that is going to carry over into other jobs you might go into. So if you're interested in technology, and maybe even if you want to work on printers or 3D printers, it's probably a better idea to get a different technology related degree, such as IT or maybe computer science. Now, before I go on to the next one on the list, I just want to say there is a lot of great technology careers out there. Information technology is a great one to get into. And you can get a degree in information technology that might be the best idea depending on the career path you're going for. But the easiest way to break into IT is to go for a lower level job like IT help desk. And this is exactly what my friend Josh Matikor and I have been helping people do. And we've actually been getting people jobs in IT in seven days, 10 days, 14 days. And the technology industry is probably the best industry you could possibly work in because it's extremely easy for you to switch careers once you've gotten your foot in the door. And help desk might be the easiest job for you to break into. And if you're interested in that, Josh actually made a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And he also has a cohort based course where you go through it with a bunch of other people and you have direct access to him. The course is about $450, I think, if you use the $50 off coupon, which I'll also put down in the description below, which is Shane. 50. Now, the next one on the list is one where there's actually a lot of jobs and it's pretty easy to get a job. People who graduate with this degree have extremely low unemployment rates, but these jobs are low paying and there's not a lot of opportunity. And this particular one that I'm talking about in this case is an education degree. And this is one where I have worked with a ton of people. For some reason, people who become teachers are extremely attracted to this channel because I think teachers have really good intentions when they get an education degree. And then once they get into it, they realize that it's kind of a dead end job where you're not really going to be able to progress. There's also a ton of red tape. It's very difficult to navigate through the education system. And these days, they're also having to deal with a ton of woke propaganda that they don't necessarily believe in, but they have to go along with it or else they'll get fired. So this is a job where you work really hard. You don't get paid very well. Son of a Speaking of education, one of the main ways that people find my channel is from their friends and their family. And the reason for that is because I give no BS practical career and money 
advice that you're not gonna be hearing from the mainstream media or on TV. So the next one on the list is going to be degrees that lead to careers that have absolutely no demand. So this particular degree I'm gonna talk about is extremely interesting. This is something that I like studying myself, but if you type this degree in on LinkedIn, which the degree is sociology, and you type in the career, which is sociologist, you're gonna see there's almost zero demand. There are almost no job listings on LinkedIn for sociologist. But if you type in software developer or data analyst, you are gonna see hundreds of thousands of job listings, right? So even if you get a sociology degree, then you get a master's or a doctorate, your chances of getting a job are extremely extremely low. So this is another one that you definitely want to try and avoid. The next type of degree that you want to avoid are ones where there's no degree actually required. So there are many careers out there where you do not need to get a degree in order to get into the career. And in many of these cases, getting a degree is actually going to hurt your chances. For instance, getting a creative writing degree. And the reason in my opinion that this is gonna hurt your chances is because as a writer, the way you make your money is other people's opinion on your work. And usually the types of people that are reading your work are going to be normal everyday people, not academics or philosophers or professors. And so learning a super technical style of writing that's designed to please these professors actually in many cases is going to hurt your chances of being successful. People who are successful writers online know that the best way to write is somewhere between a fifth grade and a ninth grade reading level. And that's so it applies to a broad audience of people, not just people who like to use big fancy words and technical language. And there's absolutely nothing stopping you from starting a writing business right now. So for instance, you can start posting blog posts on medium.com. You could post a newsletter on Substack, or you can just go ahead and start your own blog. And I actually found found a post on medium.com saying that you probably shouldn't get an English degree if you wanna be a successful freelance writer. And this is from a successful freelance writer. Now the next one on the list is going to be where a degree is required for the job, but not a specific degree. So you would be surprised how many people actually make this mistake. There are some jobs out there that require a degree, but they don't actually care what degree it is. So for instance, there's a lot of government related jobs that are like this. There's also a lot of random jobs like flight attendant, for instance, where they prefer people who have a degree. And the particular one I'm going to talk about in this case is a criminal justice degree. Now, don't get me wrong. I love true crime. Some of my favorite YouTube channels and podcasts, etc., are true crime related. So I understand why people are so interested about this stuff. And depending on the state and the city that you live in, if you want to become a police officer, for instance, they may require a degree. Some of them don't require a degree at all. And also there's different positions and some of those might require a degree. But a lot of the time, they actually do not care what degree you get. And so there's a ton of people out there that are getting criminal justice degrees because they want to become police officers when in reality they don't actually have to do that. And remember what I said about securing the bag with your undergraduate degree. If you are going to get an undergrad degree, make sure you get one that's going to be good for your future even if your plans right now don't work out. And then the last one on the list is going to be a little bit controversial. There's a lot of arguments on the internet supporting this and then there's a lot of arguments against this, but getting a degree when it isn't necessary, right? So there's certain degrees out there where it isn't necessary to actually get the degree in order to go into the career, but getting the degree does have some advantages. And in this particular case, I'm gonna be talking about an information technology degree. So when you look at the statistics, information technology is great. So getting the degree is definitely not a scam by any means. But with that being said, you don't actually have to get the degree in order to get into certain careers. Now there are some advantages. For instance, sometimes when companies lay people off, they'll lay the people off who do not have a degree. And so you might have a little bit better job security if you do go ahead and get a college degree. But with that being said, we have literally been helping people get into information technology help desk roles in seven days, 10 days, 14 days, and a lot of the time less than a month. And these are people who started off with absolutely zero experience and we're getting them jobs. And a lot of technology related degrees do fall into this category where you can get the degree and it's gonna be a good choice, but there might actually be a better choice. And by the way, if you're wondering whether the bachelor degree that you're thinking about going into is worth it or not, I actually ranked the top top 100 most common bachelor's degrees from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.